Hey again, it's Nick Fuller. I've had a lot of time in quarantine to catch up on a bunch of TV shows. I've gone through everything. So now I've been binge watching Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares and Hotel Nightmares. And I've been able to notice a few common traits and tricks that he uses to fix small struggling businesses. So wanted to go through my top three tricks and, and traits that I've noticed from Gordon, uh, explain what they mean, and hopefully give you some advice on how to solve any kind of struggles that you're facing in your business. A common thing that business owners will say when Gordon comes to them is that they just don't have the customers. That's the problem that they're facing. Well, lack of customers is not a problem. Lack of customers is a symptom to underlying problems. So as a business owner, what you wanna be able to do is take a step back, apply the lessons that I'm gonna talk about here so you can think about and solve for why aren't customers coming to your business. Are you in a bad location? Do you not have good food or good service? Uh, does it take too long? Do you have a bad reputation in the market? Um, what is really underlying that's causing the lack of customers to come to you that you can solve for using the three tips that I'll talk about to improve your business. Okay, number one is hire smart people and let them do their job. What I've seen across both the restaurants and the hotel shows with Gordon Ramsay is business owners that are doing too much. They're spending too much time working in their business rather than working on their business. It's so important to really be able to take a step back, allow your employees to really tackle problems how they see fit while you guide and help coach them throughout that process. What you'll notice is with business owners that are doing too much is really not enough gets done. Uh, they're all, they're cooking, they're cleaning, they're uh, seating everyone, but no one's actually sitting back and looking at the business and trying to figure out, am I making enough money? What are my margins? Are we selling the right things in our business here uh, that our customers are wanting? They're not talking to customers. Instead, they've bought themselves a job or created a job for themselves rather than a business. Uh, and those are two very different things. And so when you hire people, hire smart and just get out of their way. Let them do really what they've been hired for, that's their skill sets. Okay, second tip he uses to help small businesses is to simplify everything. And this is really important when it comes to restaurants. You'll notice uh, when Gordon comes into a restaurant that they have pages and pages. Everyone is trying to be like Macaroni Grill or the Cheesecake Factory with multiple pages of menu items, of drinks, of desserts, and what the biggest issue is, is that the kitchen can't keep up with all of this. So the kitchen is buying pre-frozen meals. They're buying uh, things that are easy to heat up or microwavable. And they're not actually focusing on cooking anything fresh because the menu is too large. So what Gordon does without exception in every episode is simplifies the menu, cuts down the menu from four pages to four entrees, four appetizers, four desserts, and really condenses it down. And what that allows the business to do is to focus on what they're good at, really to master those 12 dishes uh, that's in front of them, purchase the right ingredients, make it fresh, and, and really focus on the quality of that. That allows the service to move much quicker for customers. It allows the kitchen to be less stressed, reduce headcount, really streamline the entire operations rather than every small business trying to have the same menu as the Cheesecake Factory, which in reality no one wants. No one wants that many choices when they go to a restaurant. If you're cooking that many things, it means you're not good at anything particular. So really trying to simplify the menu and the offerings and everything that you're providing to the customer. The next tip is to establish a clear leader. Um, oftentimes, especially in the hotel industry or when you have business partners is it was never established up front who is guiding the ship. You need a captain. 
Uh, that doesn't mean the captain makes every decision, but that's the person who's going to hold others accountable that's driving and pushing the vision forward. What you'll notice is a lot of absentee owners where those owners um, step out of the business. No one is really guiding. The employees are, are running around, figuring everything out, doing the best they can, but they're getting no real guidance uh, from above, encouraging them, making sure they're, they're doing the right things. Um, so establishing that clear leader, especially when there's multiple business partners where someone is working on marketing, someone is working on front of house, someone owns back of house. Um, when you have those defined roles or directly responsible individuals, that's when you'll find the most success. Um, that's when you can manage and measure what the business is doing and can hold everyone accountable. That's when you can figure out what the weak points are, where you need to focus in the next quarter to turn things around. So establishing that clear leader is super critical and important. So I know many of you are spending a lot of time at home. Would love to get your thoughts on the three tips that I just talked about. What are your thoughts on Gordon Ramsay, Kitchen Nightmares? Do you think he's a crazy guy? Do you think he can bring real business sense to, to companies and small businesses? Uh, leave comments, leave descriptions below. No, no, no. Leave, leave <laughs> comments below. Uh, links in the description to my favorite episodes. Um, Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content here. And until next time. All right. Thanks.